In this video, we're going to revisit the strategy of counting on, only this time we're going to think about using larger chunks. Now, if you remember, we talked about counting on with very, very simple numbers, really talking about counting on in steps of one. This time, we're going to use larger chunks to address the more difficult calculations of adding two two-digit numbers. We're also going to use the strategy of partitioning. And if you remember, we talked about partitioning, that segmenting, that partitioning of numbers into hundreds, tens and units, tens and units, depending on what numbers you're working with. The other strategy we're going to use in this video is the strategy of reordering that number sentence, putting that biggest number first so that you have as few steps to go through and you actually can calculate in a more accurate way. So we're going to use a combination of strategies and it's really very good to see the range of strategies all being used together in combination. The idea of using the larger chunks is just to cut out those steps because obviously if you're going to add 12 onto 42, yes, you're going to reorder the, set, the number sentence and put 42 first, then you're going to count on 12. If you're counting on in steps of one, that can be a bit confusing. Sometimes children can get very easily distracted or confused and they get mixed up and this leads to inaccuracies and very, very silly mistakes. So that's why we're going to talk about using bigger chunks. So I'm just going to go through the steps of how you might use this strategy to solve these two two-digit, adding these two two-digit calculations. So we start with the strategy of reordering. We're going to identify the biggest number so that that's the number that we're going to put in our heads first. Now do remember I'm using two blank number lines here and this isn't a written strategy, it is a mental strategy, but what we're using the blank number lines for is to show the process that you might go through in your mind, the steps that you will go through when you're thinking through this in a mental capacity. So the first step is we're going to reorder the calculation. We're going to find which is the biggest number. So we are identifying 42 as the largest number in this calculation. So this is essentially the number that we will put in our heads. And this is the number that's going to go at the beginning of our number line. Step two is to partition the other number, the number that we're going to add. So we're going to partition that number. And if you remember partitioning, we talked about partitioning into tens and units. Well, we've got one ten here, which is ten, plus our two units. So we have reordered, we've put our biggest number first, we have partitioned, and now we're going to count on with these larger chunks. The first number we're going to add on is our 10. So we're going to add on that chunk. And at this stage, your child should be able to count in steps of 10, adding 10 to any number. So what we're going to do is add on that 10 to our 42, which brings us to 52. Then we're going to add on our two units. And this can be done as one jump or two. It really doesn't matter to get to 54. So just going back, we put our 42 to the, the beginning, we added our chunk of 10, we added our chunk of two, and we got to our answer. So just going through it again with our next calculation, we've got 17 plus 63. Again, we identify the biggest number, and that's the number that goes at the beginning of our number line. We partition our second number into tens and units. We then add our chunks. So we've got a chunk of 10 again. Remember, at this stage, your child should be comfortable in adding 10 to any number. And then we add our units. And again, this can be done in chunks or it can be done in ones. That's absolutely fine. And this again, using our known facts, we should already know that seven plus three makes 10. So we are at 80. The process is going through using those larger jumps so that the process is a lot more compact. There's fewer steps and this leads to more accurate, confident calculating.